welcome back to another video. Today we're on the ST once again. We're going to be tidying the brakes up today. I've already done the other side and I forgot to start before I stripped it. So we've got the disc off. The disc is really glazed up, but there's no lip. We'll take the edge off just a little bit. We'll tidy the dry flange up, we'll tidy the mating surface up and we'll go ahead and we'll repaint the calipers. I've took a wire wheel to it, so that's ready for paint now. You only need to paint what you can see. The pads, there's loads of life left in the pads. Again, I'll tidy the mating surfaces up before we reinstall them. So, this is the before, I might as well wire wheel them now. So it's all set up. I'll wire wheel this and show you how it turns out. Got the disc fully prepped. Now we're going to be moving on to this. As we can see, the top slide is nice and free, but the bottom one isn't, and it's not corrosion. It's just a build-up of fine metal and dry grease. So you can see there's fresh metal under there, but we just need to get all the old worn-out grease off. So first thing to resolve this issue. Spray in the carrier. With a load of brake cleaner. And you're just going to use the pin itself to get in there. improved wonders already and to clean the pin up just to remove all the years of grime just a little bit of sandpaper and we'll try that Top one, that's still got good grease on, that's not gone dry. It's still nice and wet. So we're gonna be putting quite a generous amount of copper grease on. Make sure it's 100% covered all the way up until the end. Get a little bit of access in the boot. So if it does get any water in, it can't get past the grease. We'll put a nice big blob on the end. And we're going to turn that as we put it in. So it sucks the grease in to the carrier. Go ahead, seat the rubber. And we're going to do the same for the top one. We have now got absolutely everything prepped. Dry flange, clean that up. Carper, got the paint off there. The seats for the pads. Don't be one of them people and paint them. I've took them back down to fresh metal. And the pads. Took them down to fresh metal. On the edges where it will be sitting. And the best stuff I've found to paint your calipers 
is the auto tech stuff. You can get this in your motor factors. Normally about eight quid a tin. And you don't want to be getting this perfect on the first coat. You'll blob it on on the first one, get your coverage, and then the second one is where you'll make it pretty. And the auto tech stuff is a nice bright vivid colour. So as we can see that's all that we'll be painting on there. And we'll come back to that and give it a second coat. And on the top, you want to blob it on. Same again. As long as it doesn't run, you'll be fine. You can put this on quite thick and it won't. So it's quite easy. Here's the finished product after two coats. Very tidy job, very glossy. Got the pads greased up, ready to go on. Got our flange greased up. Time to throw it back together. Final product. And it doesn't look too bad. Got the carpet back in. Because I took that out when I was doing the rust treatment behind here. Under sealed it all. And there's our painted calibre. Nice and gloss red. Got gloss yellow springs. And if you're seeing it going down the road, it looks very nice. All the brakes are rather tidy up for now. Front and rears. So we're going to be moving on to bleeding them. Might as well do the clutch as well at some point today. So first, you don't want to be pushing old fluid through. So we've just siphoned that out. Now we can refill it and put our pressure bleeder on. Let's go ahead, pump it up. It is quite dirty in there, but I've tried my best to get most of it out anyway. So we're just going to keep pumping until it starts coming right up, and then I'll screw the cap on. Got our master cylinder full. We've got it pumped up to 30 psi. Because this is on the offside, you want to go ahead and do the furthest one away, so it's going to be the near side rear. So we're going to go ahead and bleed that one first. Got the first caliper cracked off, and it doesn't look too bad, that brake fluid. I'll give it a minute or so, see if it gets any brighter. But that looks like brand new fluid, and I've only just cracked it. So I don't think there's too much to worry about in the first place. I'm just going to crack the other side on the rear. As you can see, that's not that bad either. Just bleeding the last corner. I have cracked it. I thought this was going to be more exciting. thought it was going to be absolutely black, but... It's not. It's quite clean. And all the others have been exactly the same. All the brakes are done. Quite anti climactic Let's go ahead and do the clutch. Let's see if this is nice and clean. It is that little nipple right down there. You can just about see it there. That metal clip, you've got to pull that up. And then there is a, a plastic nipple on the end of that. So it's quite tricky to film, but I've got that little clip pulled up just there. Now you can come round to the opposite side. At the end of that black plastic tab, there is a nipple. You go ahead and you rotate the nipple and that opens it just like so. And that's sparkling clean as well. Which I wasn't expecting. If you come under here, we've got our master cylinder. These are for the brakes, the steel hard lines. And that is for the clutch. So it all runs from the same master cylinder. 
That should do it. It's been running for about 30 seconds. So air tighten the nipple and then push the clip back in. Now the nipple's tight, we can secure it with the clip.